But the Speaker has finally admitted the no confidence motion in the Lok Sabha against the Prime Minister. You may not have the numbers stacked up in your favour, but do you think this is the last resort to have the Prime Minister come to the floor of the House and well, make a statement? Manipur is extremely uh, sensitive. There's virtually a constitutional breakdown in Manipur. It has implications on India's national security. It has implications on the stability of the entire Northeast. And therefore, under those circumstances, keeping the situation of Manipur in mind and wanting a comprehensive discussion, this uh, no confidence motion has been tabled by the joint opposition. So what do you make of the government's demand that to have a discussion on atrocities against women in the other states in tandem with Manipur? Well, there is a no confidence motion before the house. Everybody is free to say what they like. Sir, the speaker has finally admitted the no confidence motion against the prime minister. The numbers may not get stacked up against you, but what is the primary intention, sir? The primary intention is to have a serious discussion in the house. Frankly, the numbers are a foregone conclusion because the results uh, will definitely go against us since they have a brute majority in the house. So we don't expect to win, but we expect to place before the nation the burning issues confronting our country, starting with Manipur, which the Prime Minister has refused to address in the house to which he himself is a, belongs and he is a member. So we feel that at the very least, in reply to the no confidence motion, he will have to address the matter. And it's therefore a legitimate parliamentary tactic to get him to come, not because we expect to pass the motion, but because we expect the Prime Minister to come and for his own party to participate in the discussion. Is this your last resort to try and have the uh, Prime Minister come to the floor of the House? Absolutely. I mean, it's rather shocking because in any parliamentary democracy, remember, there is no question about the fact that accountability of the Chief Executive and the Government to Parliament is the fundamental sine qua non of parliamentary democracy. It is astonishing that the Prime Minister speaks to the media outside Parliament when Parliament is in session, but doesn't come and speak inside Parliament. And that too, in the House of which he is a member, we have been waiting to see him on this burning issue.